Today we're going to be talking about the critical grease intervals on a CAT mini hydraulic excavator. As many of you know, grease is your best tool, your best friend. If you grease the machine regularly at the correct intervals, the product will last you for years and service you very well. Now, remembering all the service intervals can be a challenge at times, and all that information can be found in the operation and maintenance manual. However, we also have a quick uh, reference shot in all our excavators, which could be found somewhere in the machine, and on this particular machine, it's right down here. This race track service chart tells you what needs servicing daily, 50 hours, 250 hours, 500 or 1,000, or whatever it is. Now, a general rule of thumb when it comes to greasing. If it's in the dirt, you're gonna grease every day. If it's out of the dirt, like you have on the boom and stick, on a cat excavator, it's actually 500 uh, hour service interval. Now that just goes to show that the cat bearings, bushes and pins are at such a quality that you can actually run for 500 hours without greasing. However, if you're in extreme working conditions, grease them regularly will not hurt the machine. But this is a guide as to how and when does grease that machine. We're going to walk around the machine, I'm just going to point a few of the uh, grease circs out to you and how to get to them. Now before you actually start to grease the machine with the recommended uh, grease product for that particular model, make sure that you park the machine on level ground to be safe. Also make sure the blade is down and that the linkage is also down on the ground for safety. Also, if you have the linkage stretched all the way out, you can actually walk around and grease the machine all in one shot without having the reposition. Now, some of the grease circs are very easy to see. If it's a bush in a pin, you'll see it will have a grease circ somewhere on it. Some are very easy to see and point out and get to. So as we walk around to this side of the machine, you'll also see that we have some grease circs that are on the end of the pins. Uh, sometimes a little bit hard to see or get to, especially if there's any dirt on there. Make sure you just clean those out and that you grease these as well. Uh, this is in the dirt, so this particular one would be greased on a daily basis. Some people get a little bit confused. Too much grease in the machine will not hurt it, but it will make the machine look rather messy. You put enough grease in so you actually start to see the grease starting to bubble out of the joint, because what you're actually trying to do is push the dirt out of that joint. Now as we walk towards the front of the machine, we've got another grease circ here on the swing, and then we have three grease circs coupled together. We even put the service intervals right there for you, 500 hours, 100 and 100. Uh, these are remote mounted grease circs going into the center of the machine here so it's easy to get to. So remember to grease the machine at the correct intervals, use the correct grease. Grease is your best friend. Grease the machine regularly, look after it, and that machine will serve you well for years to come. For more information, check out other service videos on YouTube or contact your local cat dealer.